ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning again one last time as we come to you live from the Aramith Simona Serena here at the Sheridan Norfolk Waterside Hotel in Norfolk, Virginia. It's been a long nine days for many of you here, a long 12 days for staff, but nonetheless made possible once again by Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth, and Aramith Balls. It's Pat Fleming's 2022 International Open. We've got a wonderful crowd here tonight, an incredible match, semifinal match last time, and an even better finals match for you here today. Without further ado, let's introduce our two finalists for this year's championship title. First up, coming to us from Poland. He's a three-time Euro Tour champion, the 2022 Diamond Las Vegas Open champion, sponsored by Predator, it's Wiktor Zelensky. and his opponent coming to us from Scotland. The new straight pool world record run and eight time now turning stone classic champion sponsored by Perry Q's and Rasson Tables, Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. <laughs> Gentlemen, you may both approach the table and lag for first break. The alternate break format, race to 13 in the finals here, folks. Our official timekeeper for this match, Mr. John Baker, and our very special commentators, Mark Wilson and Jeremy Jones. Take it away, gentlemen. Jeremy Jones is here, and this is the finals. I'm Mark Wilson, and we welcome you to what will be a historic match. Jeremy at the beginning of this week, you said there would be an unanticipated finalist, and uh, great call on that one. Well, there's so many great young players, and I really think uh, you never know when some are going to turn the corner. This guy did it back in March with a huge win in Vegas, trying to get another here. Race to 13 games here in the final match. $30,000 up top for first place. Well, very similar to how he started this semifinal, some troubles on the break shot. Now all Jason did, which is what a lot Jason does, is attack in the last match. And he wants to attack here, but really hard to gain position on the two mark. Yeah, he played the last match hyper aggressive and he connected on almost every tough shot. Yeah, a little stun towards the seven. Uh, this may give up a combination on the nine. We saw Eagle Eye make one heck of a combination on a two nine in his last match, but I think he's shooting here. Now he's got to really cut it, so that means the cue ball is going to have a ton of speed, but that might be about how much he can see the one. Yeah. The one ball, if he um, cuts it super thin, will go over there behind the clutter, but the cue ball will be sailing, so he may have to introduce some side spin to slow the cue ball down. I think he'd be inside spin, but then that makes the fine hit a little bit tougher. Yeah, he's got to run the ball, that's for sure. I thought that was going to be an issue, and the reason why is he was very concerned about the cue ball, in my opinion. So he didn't want it just coming up and down the table. That was a great hit. Looks like he can maybe play the 1-8 just because he's kind of lined up on it to a big pocket. Right. He's searching at the 9, and that doesn't look too good to me. Now the problem here is you can just stop your ball, but you might accidentally make something and keep the cue ball behind the 2-5 and not mm -hmm. have another shot. Yeah, that's a nice point, too. Now, it looks like to me he can almost squeeze the one between the 5-8 into that point at the 9 and maybe come up on the cube on the 2-5, maybe hit a thicker hit. I don't know. I think touchy. he can rifle the 8 and uh, just draw the cue ball back a little bit. Well, he was playing the cuter way. 
I don't know if that was what he was trying to play. That's an awkward, you know, rail first on the one to make the eight is an awkward yeah. way to shoot that. Now, if that's all you had and that maybe that was the case. The nine is not just hanging anymore, but outside the pocket, so it would require a pretty good hit on the nine ball in order to pocket it. Yeah, if he was off the rail, I wouldn't be surprised he went at the nine, really. But He's going to try to break out the two here, I think. Good call, Mark. Desperately trying to find a hole for the two, but a pretty secure play, though, meaning you're mm -hmm. not getting snookered, right? So yeah. That's the one thing, you know, we saw a bunch of offense in the last match from Shaw. But when he needed, needed to play defense, he won that way as well. Touchy little shot if you're going forward because the, make sure you get a rail. As long as you don't hit the seven with the cue ball. I mean, with the two ball, excuse me. <laughs> well, good job. Good speed control there to get the cue ball wedged up against the six ball. It's not frozen, so he didn't cut off all the lanes of access, but he cut off a lot of them. Yeah, if he squeezes them, what looks like another half inch, he's got to maybe play some kind of trick shot to well, get Well, he's going to have two. to use soft speed to open it up, too. More than opened it up, and that's going <laughs> to lightly bump the nine and damage it at all. Now, does the four play by the seven? I think it does. If it does, that makes things a heck of a lot easier. Three, he'll play it by the nine with the big pocket. He doesn't seem too worried to me, Mark, so that tells me the th four plays. Yeah. He'll just hold his ball. He might go forward to get a little better and back up. But if he just holds it, he's got a natural angle to come off the four couple rails for the five. And when, and Shaw, when he's in that settling mood, like, I'll settle for this. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a dangerous mindset yeah. for his opponent. Yet another capacity crowd here. Yeah, and one thing that we haven't talked about a lot of, and it kind of hit me earlier in the week, but it hit me many times actually on different occasions. But this is a big ranking event uh, for a lot of things next year. This is the first in the nine ball rankings uh, for the new year. and. There's implications on the Whirlpool Masters, the World Cup of Pool, obviously the Moscone Cup, and then also seedings, you know. Does play a role on, on improving your chances in these events. This was a well-played opening rack. Jason Shaw quickly moves out 1-0 in front. Awesome of Pat Fleming to give his thank yous and recognize everyone involved, but it's really him that uh, has made all this happen for so many years. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. In a lot of ways, lending his credibility to this event and then uh, formerly the U.S. Open, which is now the International Open, uh, probably salvaged it. One oh, ball missed. Cue ball. Cue ball didn't. Well, and I tell you, for ball in hand, this is no fun with that two ball hanging. If you didn't notice it, you might not even know it's there. Look how <laughs> deep that two is and a little covered up by the eight and nine. Yeah, heavily defended. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. Mm. I'm trying to think what really is the shot here because <clears throat> you got to get on the good side of the three somewhat. Um. And I just don't know. I mean, yeah, this is very awkward. You may end up playing straight to draw, straight off the two, kind of cross corner up table underneath the three. I don't see how he's going to get position on the two to the proper side or the side you would like to get, mm -hmm. you know, over there around just past the seven. So we'll see. I don't, I don't know. Maybe just rip it, right? I mean, right. I mean, not rip it, but you know what no, I mean. Like you get it out of there, you know, rip draw right. it some. 
Uh, here's the thing. When it's in that deep, you can't project uh, how the point is going to play exactly. So a lot of times a little bit low and just thin, hit 50, 50 hit and hit it hard. Oh, beauty. Oh, that is a class man. shot from a young man right there. That's what we talked about earlier when you're coming out of the pocket on a ball hanging from the center of the table is not easy. He didn't overhit it. He didn't force it. He felt confident about it and executed it. Yeah, the hit on the two is so important, but what you said is so important, not overhitting it. I always tell people, kind of feel the same speed you want it coming out is kind of the same speed you want it coming in, and then just judge the hit on the ball. It's a tough one, though. It doesn't take much to yeah. make, make you look a little foolish. Yeah. He got a little flat here, drawn towards the seven, I believe. Or may, if he can get to that rail, he's got a powerful draw stroke. Yeah, well played. Yeah, this is uh this is a serious title, this international. I mean it's in my opinion probably one of the top five events in the world. Um just the class of the field. Of course the venue's always great. And we always see incredible pool. It's not like any one player just two players kind of stumbling across the finish line. Classy run out there. Our score is now tied at one apiece. You know, one thing that Jason's got to deal with mentally is playing so well in the last match. You know, he can't compare the two just in case a mistake happens here. Or he yeah. gets a little bit behind. You know, he's he's a professional, and he'll, he's gone through that already before because he's had those matches that were just, you know, once-in-a-lifetime kind of matches for a lot of players. He's had many of those. Just like a mistake, you got to leave it behind. Look at that. Boy, oh, Zelensky's going to be around for a long time. Looks about 16. <laughs> Can't wait to break the balls. What people don't realize sometimes, you know, these are very clean conditions. Pull balls are clean and, you know, prime conditions. And uh, with those gloves on, those balls get a little slick. They're right, right. No, they're hard to handle for sure. Well, that looks perfect to me. Exactly how you're supposed to rack them with the Accurac. Load eight, push, let them lock. Don't touch them anymore. Just add the last ball. Wichter Zelensky breaking here in rack number three. One ball down. Looks like he's going to get a shot on the two. Uh, just maybe got a shot. Yeah. Looks like he does. Oh, he can draw it, too, then? He doesn't have to swerve it, it or like throw it, it in or no, anything it, like that? It, from my perspective, it looks like he can slip past the three and maybe soft draw it. He might have to cheat the pocket a little bit. Yeah, you can see he's checking it from both sides. Put that stroke on it, and a nice a, long stroke. There's always just a hint more room than you can see, and here's where his long, lanky body plays in because that ball's a 
cue ball's full diamond past the side pocket, and he was able to easily reach it. Yeah, and, and that helped keep in that tip position. Did you see the little arc on the cue ball? Oh. Really nice stroke there. Yeah. Doesn't mind drawing off the ball a lot, or some look to maybe run the ball at times. And this is pretty smart. A lot how Shane plays. You know, Shane is not one to, that wants a lot of angle, like natural. He'd rather pound the ball a little bit here and there, be a little more full at times. Uh huh. <clears throat> All right. This is the problem when you pound it. Sometimes, like right there, he's okay, but. He falls straight on the rail because you have to stun. You lose a little touch, and it could be a problem. He's good now, though. Man, I really like this kid's game, Mark. Keeps it simple. First run out there, that's the first one of the match. Zelensky two, Shaw one. Yeah, Shaw to break in game four. And to just watch the difference in these two guys, how they address the ball in the break. What I found with the cut break is you notice how Zelensky uses kind of like that three cushion bridge to heighten his hand up a little yeah. bit like you would for ten ball. Yeah. Well, this break I like to get a little more, not totally level cue, but a little more level cue. It's a much more of a stroke shot break than it is just kind of power in that downward hit. You'll see eagle eye, not near as much heavy angle on the cue stick. One ball's down, two balls, nine ball. No. Oof. Close. Okay, if the four wasn't there, and I think he still stuns the ball. Uh huh. But he likes this, like, little below center when the pressure's on. This is a tough shot to level out. He would much rather stun off of it. He may even let this run back behind the three. We'll see. Just hard to go wrong, right? Yeah. A lot of open pockets and the nine. Whew, hard not to look at this nine ball. I'll tell you that. I mean, if you just touch it, I mean, really, I mean. Yeah, all right. Because, you know, the right side of the nine's inside the pocket. So, really, if you just flick it, it's going to go. Good shot there. <laughs> Shaw gets out from his break. And that ties up the score at two games apiece. I like old Jason. Cracks me up. <laughs> Last year after that incident with the Moscone and the time foul I had and all that. Yeah. The next day he had the cue ball cleaned a couple times and right there kind of gave me a little peek, you know. Yeah. I know a lot of people – think that that would be kind of a rude thing, but it's just kind of a, he just ribbing at me a little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a, he's a pretty witty guy. He's got a lot of game. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Never seen talent like that. Yeah, and you've seen uh, talent for a long time. I a lot have. Of it. Yeah. I know, I try to think, have I ever seen anyone to shoot straighter than that? Danny DeLoberto said Detroit Whitey, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really totally buying that, but I let Danny go. So Yeah, so watch how much he builds his hand up. And the reason why I'm saying this is when you're playing a cut break, you don't want the cue ball in the air a whole lot. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So that can cost you sometimes, and it, it'll make it to where the rack doesn't open as well sometimes. 
that was pretty solid. Yeah, got the bridge hand down, got the cue flat. So even though he kind of angles down the last stroke, it looks like he gets real flat. Yeah, it comes up almost like the 10 ball break, to be honest with you. Or this shot here, if you can come with this one, with top right English, oh. come inside the four, three rails in between the eight, nine, or three rails to the center for the cut on the three. It's it's not frozen. If it was frozen, that's better. But boy, this is a monstrous shot because if as soon as you get that top on there, it wants to arc that cue ball down there, which takes pace out of it and also brings the four ball into play. Well, I might consider just leveling out and trying to go right into the six with just a yeah. hair of top left English and yeah. take the cut shot from the six is what I would look at. Yeah, that's the most uh, controllable. It's a hard shot, but you're making it harder if you try to power up with inside spin. Yeah, and this is where you commit to the shot itself. I mean, mm -hmm. you're cannoning or, you know, going into the six, right? Yeah. So don't try to hit it light and then sacrifice the ball. Go ahead and put a good stroke knowing you're going to hit the six full. Uh, he lost hitting the six because he did hit it light. It kind of got time to take that forward momentum. Yeah. He may cut this in anyways. He's got a little bit mm -hmm. of a look. Yeah, he can definitely see it. I'm looking right down the barrel. Now, the thing here is you may run this cue ball even if you're not trying to make it back up where it's at now. Oh, I'm surprised he played the soft one. thought that one was very delicate and hard to control. I thought he would do that, but go ahead and let the cue ball run up. You got mm -hmm. the seven. You might get behind the four. You know, a lot of things are working for yeah. you. Keeps it simple, just between the eight and five. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Boy, I looked away. <laughs> I thought it hung for sure. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> what happened there? He can thank uh, whoever polished the balls. Yeah, stun shot here, big one. Probably runs for the side just because it's more comfortable on the six with this much cut. Two rails right between the seven and eight. If he gets a little thicker on that six, I think he probably just plays a seven in the lower right corner. Mm -hmm. His speed going past the side pocket uh, to get position like this all day has just been uh, really good. Spot on. Well, he's talked about that all the time. You got to trust to get in there, and he certainly does that. Yeah. Great shooting there. five games it couldn't be any closer it's weird though they've they've split their break games right so i mean or, or split some of them now jason will be breaking the balls in game number six and have a chance to get a two-game lead Darren Appleton sitting right below us on the Jason Shaw side. Yeah, I'm sure Elliot Sanderson is there as well. Been pretty much running mates kind of all year at these big events. 
Don't know if Imran Majid is still here as well. Maybe. But I actually think he left. Left town, went back home. One ball, drop clean. Look at the two hanging in the exact same position oh, he yeah. broke from before. I mean, like almost identical. This is that tricky spot to play position from. Yeah, the good thing for him is the five is pretty close to the three, so he can handle some distance on the three if needed. Yeah, you don't try to do too much there. Boy, the break, if it keeps up for J Jason like this, it's gonna, he's going to be a hard guy to beat here. And, and that's whether or not, you know, Zelensky plays really well or not. Yeah. Good thing for for Wichter is he doesn't have to have the c consistent break of that Eagle Eye seems to repeat a little more often. He just has to have one that works here in the finals. Right. <laughs> you know, it doesn't have to be identical and what looks like stealing. Huh. A little shorter than I thought he'd be. Yeah, it was almost like that stroke in his last match on the draw, and I think it was the seven ball maybe that just wasn't his best. And he normally just gets draw so effortlessly. Now, one thing that contributes to that is if you're suspicious of your tip not being really good, then you don't want to get down there as low as you can. And you said he might have had some equipment issues, right? He did, 100%. Yeah. He, he ran up to me last night. You wouldn't believe it. My tip messed up. I had to use my other shaft. He liked the tip on the other shaft, but he said it was real thick. He'd never used it before. Yeah. And so uh, after this nine ball, uh, he actually, I think if I heard him right, he took the tip off of his new shaft, the one he had to play with, and put it on his old shaft, which I've never done before. Yeah. I've never taken a tip that was already in. Yeah. Put on. Yeah. And taking it off and put it on another one, but he did. And I'm sure he had Joe Blackburn do it. Who's really great. It's um, such an unusual thing too, lathe. because as a professional player, how do you not carry three playing shafts with the tips worn down about? Might the have been his line? first experience, uh Oh you know, I see. You know yeah, what I mean? He is like, a new yeah. yeah. I mean he's not new to anything, but um he did change cues um some time ago. I would bet he carried his old shaft from his other parry to his new parry is probably what happened. And he had the new shafts for the new parry. I see. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I see. Prepared yeah. and so on. <laughs> Night before the Moscone Cup, Corey Duell's at my house. We're playing on the 5x10. Corey's playing terrible. I'm playing better than he is. I'm thinking about switching roles. And <laughs> I'm going to put myself in. He goes, man, my cue is making a terrible sound. Shane comes out. And so... Shane, he, look at my tip, look at my tip. I'm like, yeah, Corey, you're nuts. You know what I mean? And Shane goes up, puts his thumb up there, boop, there goes the tip. And I'm like, well, you know, now he doesn't have a tip on. And I go, well, you got other shafts. No, he doesn't have any other shafts. But he's sponsored by OB. I'm yeah. like, you've got to be kidding, you know. So then he has me try to glue one on. That doesn't work. And then, yeah, he actually, uh, a couple years ago, had a similar situation in, in, in London uh, where he had a new... Uh, Mucci Q and the the tip was just kind of so 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 he had to doctor it himself right there in the uh, no in the practice room he had to borrow Bergman's break Q butt and <laughs> an oddball shaft and then Luke comes over Mark why is he doing that oh he plays great with this nice job there on oh, the cut break Kubo got a nasty kiss and he's pinned on the two a little bit. I think he can see some of it. Maybe he just goes ahead and banks the two down table. Can he avoid the scratch, banking the two towards the five one rail mark? Just and yeah, just, you know, no, he, just kind of see what the cue ball does. It, maybe a little high right. The problem is that when you avoid the kick, the kiss, you then or avoid the scratch. You also avoid getting the two ball with pace yeah. enough. You know, you kind of send it more towards the nine. Yeah, or even maybe to the middle of the table, which isn't that great either. So Yeah. I would tie the five seven up even more, I think. 
unless that doesn't improve my situation on this shot. I think this is about all he had, and this him trying to avoid that scratch is exactly what you said. Didn't get enough pace on the two. And I'll tell you what, he might be able to catch the edge of the two right here. It's only going to catch the right edge of the five, I mean, coming off the two. And that'll send him at the three while opening the five seven. I think he catches just a snip of it, which is perfect. You can see that's what he's aiming for. Yeah, well, he can't catch it full to where it's going to hurt. You know, like you yeah. scratch or double yeah. kiss and stay there. It's going to release off the five or not hit the five at all. You have to be very committed to your shot. And then when he used that extra power, it just leaped around the five. Yeah, you yeah. had to kind of smooth it in uh, to catch that five ball. I don't know. I don't know what he has here. Uh, well, the beard oh, on the seven is pretty easy. Okay. It, and this plays, he can make the three here. Oh, yeah. Good camera sure. work. So he's wanting to get straight to draw back for the combination, it appears. I think he I think he might end up st still shooting the kiss shot. Or he might be able to even attack. He's looking there for yeah. an angle on the safety, I think, to bang the five around. I know what Efren would do. Efren would just kind of hold his ball over the four and, mm -hmm. and kiss the seven in with a bunch of right English. If he's trying to come across, he's got to really power up here. If you can get to the center of the table, that bigger play is so much easier. Oh, my. Uh, he hit it heavy. That. Hit it well heavy. And he was going to play the kiss shot for sure. Yeah. And that's the thing about kiss shots versus combinations. Kiss shots, as long as you're on the natural line, you don't have to be that close to it. Right. Ooh, he's going to, that's combination city there, or maybe nothing. Oh, he might have got it just perfect. <laughs> yeah. Now, it'll be the lightest rub on the five. And a ton of right English. Might not even need a ton, just a little bit. Yeah. He's got to really, see. Hit, oh, this. Yeah. He's gotta no, really right. hit this yeah. thin. Yeah. Okay. Good camera work that, there. That five has got to barely move, and that is a ton of right English. Give it time to throw. He didn't give it time to throw. It still fell. <laughs> Pocket speed. We saw it last night, and we certainly saw it again today, that Zelensky, these are important games because it seems like he gets more comfortable and stronger as the match goes. Clearly. He's a real rhythmic uh, momentum type of a guy, and so is Jason Shaw. Here's that kiss shot. Slow mo, I like that. A lot of spin. Yeah, you can see when the head rises yeah. like that, he was a little worried. Yeah. <laughs> Eyes glued on that seven ball. All right, a rare open miss from Shaw. All right. He's going to get a shot, but it's not going to be easy. And the 3-8, which ain't bad. He's looking at a short side possible position. Mm, I would really consider the combination here. Uh, even if you have to cut it a hair, you're going to be going towards it. The combination to me doesn't look that bad. Now, Shaw's a little different than me. He doesn't mind adding more speed coming off this end rail. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't hit it light, but I like to stick to the medium mm -hmm. here. Oh, sweet stroke. 
He's going to need a friendly bump on the three, and he did get it, and deservedly so. I don't think you could be more prepared than Jason Shaw because he played Shane a big set recently, and he, he played the straight pool thing. He's been hitting a lot of balls, and then he's played here now. This is day nine. so. Yeah, and if you look back at his, at his year to date on these bigger events, you know, he hadn't had quite the results he wants, but it hadn't been like, but just like terrible play. I mean, I, I witnessed a couple of times he made, you know, had a kick on a ball at the Whirlpool Masters, never got to the table again for like five racks. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just, you know, things happened to where he just didn't get the results that we're used to seeing him have. And you have years like that, but trying to make up for it here in Norfolk. This is odd, huh? Side's a little odd here, yeah. I think. Oh, he yeah, managed he it easily. Control, yeah. yeah. Now you want to come become a better pool player. Just try and figure out. There's a lot more shots that are just basically roll your ball shots than you think. You know, I mean, I, that doesn't mean you baby them, but that just means the ball's just kind of rolling end over end and under pressure. That's a that's a good way to shoot a lot of shots, in my opinion. Look how far away he played position there. Yeah, he's going to have to dig on this big time to slow it down. And he got right where he wanted to be. That's what he absolutely was attempting. Oh, the drag draw. Man, he hit that pure. The draw just released when it got there, so he got a little bit of a stun effect. Created the two cushion route towards the seven ball. Well, he's forgotten about it, but it did play a little factor. I think he's a little bit... Upset himself for that last missed four ball in the last rack. I don't know if you saw his face afterwards. Just like a little mini talk with himself real quick. <laughs> and as the nine ball hits the bottom of the pocket, Shaw pushes out to a two-game lead. He's very comfortable, that's for sure. Hasn't changed the entire day. <laughs> no, he came out here fast break offense in his first match today. Never let up against Copigny. Victor staying to the right side of the break. Jason's been opposite of the box. Yeah, he gets that thin one every now and again. And, and a couple things that tell mm -hmm. you, you know, the one misses first off. Look how little yeah. movement we had on the rack. Not you know. much ball action exactly. there. Exactly. This one's going to hurt, I think. If he gets straight on this two, making it easy to get to the three, just falling forward. Uh, and I think the one's perfectly natural to do so. I thought he would come at it a little more. Just because it laid so natural, yeah. I thought he'd get a little closer to the two. Not saying it's a big deal, but getting on the three could be a little funny if he if he has the wrong angle. Can he go forward and brush the three, or is that too dangerous? He with might the even four be able there? to go between the four and three. Yeah. yeah, that's what he wanted. I was gonna say the combo though. If that's your last resort, it's still not bad. And especially when you get perfect, he can just float this in with a little nip draw. Handled it so smoothly. Never doubt. Well, 
that incredible touchy he always shows us, I think has a huge part to do with his ball pocketing and his straight shooting. You know, his timing hitting the cue ball is so nice. Really, I think, uh, opens up his room for air. Nice hit there. He'll stun out and play the nine ball in the corner that uh, opposite of where the eight ball goes. Just drifts the cue ball out to the center of the table. Conservative position route. That lends itself to consistency. This will be a three-game lead now for Shaw. Yeah, and he breaks in the next. Very dangerous territory. We're getting to about a third of the way through the match. And really, Jason approaching, approaching the halfway point. A three-game lead um, <laughs> against most players, it's a lead. But with Shaw, the way he's playing, it's bordering on really getting out of hand here. There's our National Beard Academy rack track. Shaw won the first game. Then he rattled off three in a row after losing two consecutive. Well, I hope I don't jinx him, but one thing about Jason... It looks like the break's getting better as well as this match is going. It's been real solid coming across, catching that nine how he wants. Mm-hmm. One has looked like a no-brainer in the side. Oh, cue ball. One ball range in there. Now, look at here's the two ball filtering right up there by the cue ball. Yeah, and look at the movement he has gotten on the rack. Yeah, versus, three balls. Yeah, exactly. Right. Man. And not only three balls made, but just the balls scrambling around, you know, like. Right. Well, I think he's got a shot on every ball on the table. <laughs> so that's not bad <laughs> yeah. when you're trying to find a shot at your hole. All right. This is a little odd. If he goes forward, he's got to go a long ways up and down. Draw is not the best angle. You may draw and go into the th edge of the three or four here just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. If he's confident with his tip, his draw is very effective. But we've seen a couple times where he kind of shied away from that effective draw. You're exactly right. And it shocked us both, I think. I think he's got to come backwards here. Oh, he stunned it out for the three. What a <laughs> Great shot. shot. Well, you know, it's one thing to get by the four, but <clears> any <throat> other kind of like layoff or off just a millimeter, you could easily get behind the eight. You could actually overdo it. When you hear the ball hit the pocket uh, that soundly from this distance, you know he had hit that pure. Well, yeah, not only that, when you hear that sound of a ball that's going down the rail that makes that sound, it's right. really pure. You know, a ball coming from, coming from across the spot, we hear that a little more often, that, that crispness hitting the pocket. But he's going to put a lot of pressure on a, a young Polish champion. Now this one should be one rail. You don't you don't want to stun. You can. He's so talented. He might catch two rails with high, but you definitely don't want to stun. Yeah, you don't want to come across that line. That one could hurt you. Man, oh man. Jason Shaw has put on a show today. Yeah, and just kind of wheeling shots after the break. Doesn't matter where that two ball ends up. Second break and run of the set so far for Jason Shaw. 7-3 in front. Zelensky wisely going to take a player timeout.
All right, everybody, we are back. Zelensky breaking here. Trailing 7-3. Yeah. And last time, it's just a little thin on the one. What I found is it's roughly about like cutting the, depending on where you put it in the box, but about like cutting the one to the first diamond is about the hit. Maybe a hair inside that first mm -hmm. diamond. Not much. That was better. Much better. And much needed as well. Uh, he can't be too upset about that. He made a ball, and, and this is not a hard combination for these guys. Not saying it's easy. There's a cool shot here he could play safe. He could fall straight through the two with a high right ball. Let the two bank off the end rail as the cue ball followed the end rail. It would spin underneath the six. That would be. I've seen uh, Efren shoot that one before. Yeah. I think you got to go with the combo here, though. Safety's not going to beat Jason Shaw. Good shot. It was. That was missable. Well, it's a funny way to shoot it with that little soft hold on the stroke. You know what I mean? Like, if yes. you can run your ball level out or put a little more speed, it's a more fun way to shoot that combo. I probably just spin this out. I don't hit more than one rail here. I just spin this out with right English. I think you could let something bad go wrong. Mm hmm You know, if you try to yeah, move right. the ball a lot. Maybe not. Maybe inside. Okay. Yeah, nice shot he got there. A little bit stretched. I think he could have done the same, though, or even gotten better. Just one rail out with right spin. But some guys don't like to put that, yeah. you know, more spin on the ball. Okay, he's gonna. He's got to play for the four on the side, right? Yeah, looks like it. So he's gonna have to play above if he secures this for a little more angle on the four to run the ball for the five. I think otherwise he's threatening getting behind the nine. Nice shot. Now, what do you do here, Mark? You just come one rail past the nine to take the longer shot on the five in the corner, or do you go three rails? I prefer three rails if, you know, I mean, if I could, just because it's the, you got a much larger position zone. Yeah, it's kind of forcing it here, it looks like, it is. maybe. The other, but now you got to He does it this a lot, inside. though, just one, okay. no, just on this side of the nine, oh, the natural oh, side. Standing. Yeah, standing. he does that a lot. That's just, by far yeah. the best. Yeah. Yeah. Economy of travel, much more controllable. Yeah, and once you realize this little extra distance really doesn't bother you or it shouldn't, it's so much easier with mm -hmm. position options, especially when the pressure's on. <clears throat> or you got to give it to the kid. He's doing exactly what he needs to do to have a chance in this match. Saturday night here in Norfolk, Virginia. Zelensky four, Shaw seven. Eagle eyes sticking to the left side of the box, his left side. Right just 
watch how he's aiming really to come into the middle diamond and then back into the nine. Got a little quicker with the transition that time. Yeah, had a little uh, inside spin on that break too. Yeah, look at this, how they're all jumbled up. Yeah. This is three foul city. Uh, if he can secure the first snooker. When the balls are jumbled up like this, this is when the three foul is really a possibility. Yeah. Is he looking at the one and to the three? Wow, he better know he's going to come clean unless he's just trying to get the one and the three and then play the safety. Oh, nice shot, kid. And now everything goes, Mark. I think the four goes. Well, yeah, it's a little borderline. Well, it can be made. If it's that close, you can definitely All right. put make it. It's not maybe easy, but... Got a little straight. I don't know if he can go forward here. I have to draw underneath him with low left. Then those object balls become a problem. It looks like you can get in behind the four, though, from a lot of different places and get it to billiard off the back of the five. Yeah, as, long, as long as he doesn't mind the left English, you know, it can't be a little bit with the draw, but he should spin clear of the nine, go between the five and nine off one rail. Boy, he's got a sweet stroke. Oh, man. Yeah. Sure did. Now here, if there's any question, just try and use the rail a little bit to make it. Oh, he could go straight in. It's amazing if you're prepared what that timeout does. It seems like <laughs> yeah, perfect timing to take one. Much needed. And now coming back with a couple games in a row, it looks like. And breaks the balls in the next. a nice way to come back from your timeout pick up a couple quick wins and really quality quality outs I mean, a lot of guys you know that one three combination self included didn't look like there was a lot of room for error with that it looked like no. he could have actually made it and kind of put himself him in a so bad position no you know? exactly right yeah that was not an easy run out to take on and craft because there was a lot of danger early on yeah, you know, when they're grouped like that, it's not like other situations that are dangerous. It becomes like brutally dangerous. You know, yeah. You can easily trap right. yourself or yeah. get buried and have to surrender ball in hand and maybe take a chance of getting three fouled because of the group of balls. Right. Yeah. Looks our TPA, both guys at 900 and above now. Yeah, that, you hate to take on a shot like that that does have the potential to have reward, but could be fatal, should you, right? You know, like, if I just mess this up a hair. Well, that's kind of pulling in, in, in a small definition, I think. Oh, okay. It's, it's a tough game, pull is. <laughs> yes. Okay, he came back in with a, a much better break shot. Made a nice combination after his last break on the 2-6. We'll see if he can get another one going. Uh, he missed the one, and he knew it as soon as he hit well, it. A ton of draw and side spin there. Well, it was a little fooler because he hit it way thicker. So it looked like more draw than, you know, if he cuts it more, right, it doesn't right, appear like right. so much draw. Okay, you yeah, know, like he point. just caught that one a little yeah. thick is all. So but this is where this guy separates himself a lot. Jason, I'm not saying that a lot of guys don't make these, but he just seems to consistently keep burying them. I do believe he's shooting. Well, 
Now he's going to give up a shot. This is going to run to give up the rail first. And I think he can go forward with the rail first and get to a cut on the two in the side. I think, anyways. Maybe he's trying to go ball first. I think if you smooth it, mm -hmm. the straight high, no no right. I th oh, he's drawing it, so he can get at the ball straight away. Oh, no, he played rail first. Nice shot. He wanted to stay away from the six. Now he's got to deal with the five, though. Yeah. The two does squeeze by the eight in the corner. not saying he's going to do that, but Whew, this is tough. I may let this run. I, I don't normally do that a whole lot, but. I may go, if he gets past the four on the side rail, real clear side of the table to run up for the three. Yeah. And the cue ball is going to be hot anyways, right? It's a pretty controllable, um, it's, as far as the speed goes, he if shoot, you can just he, clear the four. He's shooting in the corner. Nice shot. you got to believe that was the right decision, not just because he hit it so clean, but... And look at your result. Yeah, minimal cue ball movement. Got a little straight. So the good thing here is you just get it over. You can come across off the four and play the five in the opposite side. Now he can hold it probably. Got to go forward off the side rail. Maybe about a foot off. Uh, bounce off the side rail about a foot. straight there that could be a little tricky you can see his face not too happy <laughs> and the thing is when you flow like that sometimes you know you want to make sure you end up a little high of that ball yeah. right there <laughs> he's going to use the big big draw stroke boy he's playing good he'll just cheat the pocket of hair not a whole lot Use the side rail just a, just a little bit. That's got to go a little. That was a let up on the downswing. Or let's just say he just didn't swing it as much. This no, he decelerated through that. Yeah. yeah, he was trying to guide the speed. <laughs> Three quick games now. <laughs> Off the timeout. That's got to feel great. 7-6. Yeah. Both players over 900. Yeah, Shaw to break. Here's our National Billiard Academy rack track. Shaw took the first four out of six. Took another three out of four. But now three in a row for the youngster and back in it at seven to six. Still got to wonder about the break shot for Zelensky. What, you know, it's going to come down. It looks like a very close match. And you're wondering if that's going to play in later in, the, in this match. And, how much it's going to affect things. That last rack shot took on a tough cut in the corner that you'd hate to bet against him making, but it rattled up, and then Zelensky did good running out. Here's a break analysis here. Seven total breaks for Zelensky, six out of seven. One ball's down. Oh, that cue ball got a nice kiss, but we talked about a lot. Ooh, nine ball action here now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, with the draw stroke or even a follow stroke. Stun maybe. But but the two's so makeable, you got to believe he's, he's wanting to gain position on the three. Yeah. Yeah, if you hit the nine pretty full, it's not going to let the cue ball 
get over there for the three very easily. Yeah, and if you hit a high ball, you're going to have to take on some shot on the three probably. I think he's playing the nine and the two. Yeah. How'd he do? I thought did he would get add out a... there. Did he get out there? Not quite. Did. No. We're gonna going to get the short stick out. That's right. Really interesting here because this is kind of setting up for Zelensky. Even if you pop this in, it's going to be hard to get out. Yeah, he's got a little angle, but <clears throat> if he does make it, I agree. He'll have some tough shot on the five as well. Wow. <laughs> Look how sweet he hit it, though. You know, when we talked about earlier, you know, it's easy to overhit the, the jump when yeah. the pressure's on. It really is, even if you're a great jumper. And... Uh, just he even got perfect the ball the reasonably strike. close where he can be accurate on this five ball. Yeah, he's got he's got to make a decision here though. With yes, the seven he does. there. This is funny. Yeah, I think yeah. he can beat the seven drawing it though, like that. Uh oh. Well, man. I guess he played at that speed because he wanted the cue ball to bend before. Uh, above the seven, but then that took the pace out of the mass, and so he couldn't get past the eight. Yeah, maybe straight draw where the right English didn't take. Now the six is makeable, the nine's makeable. He wants to hit the top of the six, just barely. Let it ricochet off the nine in the lower left corner, like that. Wow! Oh, oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> Man, that would be a good one to replay there. A lot Still had to go not right. Out of woods. Oh no, not at all. Now me on the slick table. Now this one's not totally slick. It's not as slick as as past years. You could pinch draw this easily on this side of the side pocket, very comfortably. Still a big shot. Nice shot. Oh, outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> Sean looks over at the guys smiling. Cool. 8-6. Oh, look at this shot. A lot has to go on. Watch the cue ball after it hits this. Nine almost goes in, rims the pocket. Cue ball comes over, <laughs> hits both tips. Yeah, if you looked at Jason's face as he was watching that cue ball there, it was like he he knew it wasn't going to scratch. He was just kind of calmly looking at yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was that from the break? I think it was. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Oh, look at this shot. Wow. Yeah, jump shot on the three. And so controlled. Yeah, he hit it so clean. He got the maximum movement out of the cue ball. A hair of a hop off the rail, but not much. No, it went in there nice and flat. That was perfect. We've been blessed to see some just spectacular racks, much like that last one, throughout the week. The kid's going to love this. We haven't seen someone shoot at the one ball in a minute. Well, there's been a couple dry breaks, I guess, that Shaw overcut that one ball earlier. That was a big shot, and Zelensky got out. Good thing the six is kind of over the pocket because the four is funny. If you had to work the cue ball somewhere to get on a tough six ball, that, that four ball could really cause some problems. But Is he going to come one rail out of this? Yeah. This is the, one of those types of shots I was talking about earlier. When you can hit that shot comfortably, man, it's huge. 
I know it looks like not much, mm -hmm. but that's a little bit of an uncomfortable mm -hmm. shot, you know, because you're coming backwards with the cue ball, but you just can't afford too much of it. I think the four does go, no problem. Now, normally you would draw. Oh, no, he just wants him to watch the hit. Normally you would draw this ball. Uh, that way nothing bad happens going forward, catching a little piece of the seven, end up behind the nine or something like that. Take no chances with draw. Oh, he did go with high. What, see where he's coming across that nine yeah. right there? If he catches that nine, it can carry with you sometimes. He can cheat it. He can draw off of it, either one. Are you feeling a little 12-12 at this juncture right <laughs> yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah, we're heading that direction. Seven now. Classy run out. Okay, Shaw breaking here, staying perpetually at the extreme left left side of the break box. He made a ball, a one ball's near the pocket, but it'd have to be a full two ball jump. Yeah, he's in serious trouble here. And that would be a jump to nothing. He's gonna have to probably low, roll out to that top rail maybe and just take the safety that, that he's gonna try and put on him here because I'm, I'm sure that Zelensky will take this, trying to drop the cue ball back down table behind six, seven, the four or something. Mm -hmm. Kind of a bare ball. You know, the four is the most realistic ball you're going to try and get behind from this angle. May end up giving this up. Eagle Eye saying he's playing the three rails in the side. Better have one incredible position with the cue ball. I think it's a tough bank to make, and I do understand it with the 6-7 there. He's figuring he can get some cover with this bank going long. It's not going to go short, most likely. But I'm afraid of the cue ball. He may snooker himself. Huh. Pretty decent, but pretty dangerous as well. <laughs> if that goes he, in, you know, like, yeah. where's he at? Well, I think it's just... More of the was, safety, right? Yeah, and he was his back was against the wall. He... Wanted to give himself some kind of a chance to get another play in this rack. 
No, he had played a beautiful safety. Oh, yeah. I think he thought, well, chances of me making it probably pretty slim. But it, it was a good way to get a snooker, though. If he hit it good. Right. Could go two rails if you wanted at the one. Up to the top rail, side rail, with maybe a hair of left English. Could go behind the eight as well. I don't like that as much for some reason. I kind of like kicking towards congestion usually, though. He's going to kick the other way. A little more open table up here, but the two is awfully tied up. Scratched. Yeah. Uh, well, this will be a pretty shot anyway. Mm, Get yeah. to watch. Hmm. Might take a chance that uh, we'll see. Uh, I guess he's just going to play the safety. Or is he going to? He's going to try and go into those bowls like that. I was trying to figure out how I could get underneath in between the three and nine to that rail to kick the nine out. It doesn't appear there's a real path to do so. So he's going to power and go forward? Is that what That's what I think. He kind of lined it up like, like he was going at the nine with the cue yeah. ball. Yeah. And trying to move the two over with the nine probably. Going to power into the side pocket from a thin angle. <laughs> you know, it should it's arc. Gonna... Well, it's going to have to go just past. The oh, he went that way. Yeah. Took a big chance, I'll tell you. I don't That's mind a, it. Yeah. But did take a chance. Soft kick here just to lay on top of the two on the top side. If you get to the second rail, you can get out by the nine. No, he didn't. Yeah. Ooh. No well. He hit it light. And but if this, if this two ball goes, he's in trouble. I don't think it goes, though. Oh, yeah, it goes. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Great camera oh, view yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from that view, yeah. Just got to get the cue. And you go into the nine. That slender angle into the side pocket to get a breakout with power, you know, and he hit that, he hit the rail right by the side pocket where he wanted to be, so. Well, the thing about any time you're trying to break out off of a full shot, and that's what he had when yeah. he set it up, a full yeah. hit. You have to hit it perfect just any kind of way because you're not going to get much speed on the cue ball to where it wants to keep carrying. When you come off a thinner one, it wants to keep carrying through. That's so. because the momentum of the mass is lost in the object ball. Exactly, yeah, the so full hit. Oh, you got to spin when you do it his way. Right. Which I'm not faulting, and it could have worked out perfect, but you don't get any extra bonus weight of the cue ball helping you. Right. Been toying around with that stuff. When it comes to following the ball on, on just regular shot. Oh, my. Oh, no. Didn't expect that. And he did surrender a shot. Nothing easy. Whew. But I don't think he'll duck. Even though he's had a few chinks in the armor the last couple games, it may make him think about the safety. Looks like he is playing the safety. Creeping it up with inside. Yeah, he wants the death blow. Yeah, well, he didn't want to leave the jump, that's for sure. <laughs> he didn't want to go 8-8, eight, eight, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zelensky, really, he might, we've seen an error early, but not one very late. Right. Here's the problem with this shot. You usually don't get separation. Yeah, he was just trying to give it a chance at yeah. something positive, and he's left a kiss shut on the nine, it looks like. Yeah, not an easy one, though. That's pretty far from the corner or side, it appears. Yeah, the only thing I would worry slender. about is if it's super thin on the hit on the six. If it's super thin, I might stay away from this. But if it's a, I can hit like quarter ball, I feel pretty good about it. He's sizing up a cross side bank, I think. See if he can twist the bank. Touchy shot. Yeah, this is all right in that uh, you could make any decision here and not be wrong. What about cutting the six on the nine? Good. Huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. look I at mean, it. The problem is you're not likely to get safe with it. No, but, I mean, well, I, would go, I wouldn't go two-way here. I'd either try and put him behind the nine going through the six with a little right spin maybe or something or go for the shot. Oh, man. Look at this shot. Very wow. heady. Wow. <laughs> 
That had some defensive uh, ramifications because if it misses the pocket, then the object balls out along the short rail. A huge shot here. She's got to smooth it. Oh, Get man. Down. <laughs> wow. What a great shot. Man, oh, we talked about so many things. I didn't really even consider the cross corner bank on the six. Eagle Eye is going to hold that two game lead. Man. in late in the match. Uh, that's Major League Pool right there. He got out from nowhere. Mm. Loving this. Nine sevens our score. Both players over 900 pool. Let's take another look at this bank, Jeremy. Not much there. Yeah, well, the, any of these cross corners coming from this angle, they don't want to hang, Mark. You know what I mean? They're yeah. going to either fall or you miss the pocket itself. It just yeah. doesn't want to hang. And uh, I'm sure he was aiming a hair high if he did miss it to the high side. <laughs> well, the last two matches, he has made some incredible shots. <laughs> yeah. I think it was the first year. Was it? Well, he's only got one U.S. Open, but I can't remember if he won the International first or the U.S. Open. I guess it had to be the U.S. Open here. One of those years they put a highlight reel of the shots he made uh, during his run to his title, and there were like 30 of them that were just unbelievable. Yeah, that was massive there to regain his two-game lead rather than be tied. And here we are, the latter stages of the match. Yeah, too thick again. He may have lost the cue ball again. Oof. Uh, he's going to surrender the cue ball maybe here in a moment, though, with this jam-up safety he's about to... I put on him. I think this escapes easily. Just don't baby it. Really good. Another thing that's so impressive about that last shot from Jason on the six is he's made a couple of mistakes here in the last few racks. You know, something he hadn't done in a long time. And to be able to pull the trigger on that that shows a lot of heart. Yeah. Where does he go, Mark? Boy. Three rails Tugly. underneath. Three rails yeah, underneath, right? Yeah, you can do that. I don't know if we can grab the overhead real quick, but if we do, he's going to warp it down here with velocity. Oh. Pretty good. Got a cue ball to the end rail as well. What a shot. Well, I think this kid has made some fans here in Norfolk, Mark. I think that's a little more than just that shot itself. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. really appreciate him. I don't know if he has a pocketable ball. This looks awfully thin in the side. Don't think the corner's really an option. Might shoot straight through this. I don't know what he's doing. He's cutting it. <laughs> ah, Eli. It's just fun to watch. Yeah, he rearranged the balls a little bit. And this has gotten a little odd. This is that same shot I was talking about before. If you can dodge the eight, you can shoot straight through on this with high left, go to the end rail, and spin behind the six. He played it with just a real good touch, two rail on the ball out, and that was a better shot. Oh, boy. Because he was never worried about the two then. You know, my shot that I was talking about, the two still going to roam a little on this end of the table. And it's so easy to lose your cue ball doing that. It's not natural, and then when you see the end result, you think, well, that's just where they go. Not even close. You have to totally manufacture the speed and the angles.
All right, Shaw, open layout here. Five and six, maybe the only sticking point. And again, you just don't want to get too straight unless you're real close to it. Uh, otherwise, you want a hair of an angle to kind of work the cue ball to the top rail probably and because the five is going to come out off the rail a little bit. Uh, yeah. Well, Efren usually plays it the other way. He plays from the outside. Yeah, either way. This uh, way. As long this as you're way. getting it. That's what I mean. As long as you're yeah. getting an angle. You know, this one, though, he got oh, kind of straight. So much. now you yeah. get on top of it. But if you play from above, right. you can kind of cut it a little and then just go the in rail and up. So you always want to yeah, angle yeah, yeah. with these. Yeah, when you're flat like this, this things, this one, things go the most awry. Double kiss on the five. Oh, like beautiful that. shot. <laughs> Beautifully played. Controlling the secondary object ball by having it run into the cue ball a second time. That bears a replay, too. Very heady. Talked about that with Jason earlier. Does some things right-handed. The bridge is one of them. I think he golfs right-handed. It's amazing in sports how that is. Yeah. Might use the rail, might not. We'll see. I think he can just stun straight up on the, yeah, the stun draw. What a good uh, series of shots here. <laughs> Shot. I think he's taking a timeout with a three-game lead. We are back. Jason Saw will be leading and breaking. Right, 18, short break. See if he can range in on the one ball again on the side. Nope, rattle the pocket. Something else did go in, though. Yeah, and he's got a look, and that's all he desires at the moment, Mark. <laughs> yeah. He's one of the best at this shot, too, where he can't put a lot of speed on it from distance and has to kind of roll it in somewhat. Now, it's not going to be super light, but he can't afford a whole lot. Can't go forward past the two, you know. The comfortable is like the medium here, and I think he's a little less than medium. But watch out. I don't know how to explain it. He just gets through that cue ball, and it's not a ton, but it's just so so pure. I think it kind of opens up the pocket on the one. Oh, he's overcut it. That's surprising. Normally, he kind of uses the rail a little bit on those shots. Look where that landed. <laughs> that is Ugly. treacherous. Ugly. Oh. It's hard to play defense. It's hard to play offense. Yeah, he's going to. He's trying to beat it. I don't know if he can. Looks like it requires a little inside English to beat it, a little left English, rather than just straight and, of course, not right English. But. Oftentimes, beating this will lead you to hit the one ball too heavy. Yeah. Now, can he cut the one enough to get it by the three and not scratch mark? Just play the safety, getting the one by the three to the end rail, and, you know, just kind of take that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah. 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 I'd look at the six in the upper corner between the between the five eight. I don't know what it looks like, but two rails behind that could be a possibility. It's reasonably close. And you can, and I mean, there, you got other action besides the six. I think you could kiss the one in if you come across the side of it. Ooh, this is touch. He's sticking, kicking stick. Oh, wow, what a hit. He <laughs> made it, though. Him. Oh, and hooked him. That's what it comes down to. Just a half a turn of the ball. Could have scratched or, or pocketed the one. <laughs> I 
that's heartbreaking for Zelensky because every time he's come to the table, it's been some kind of thing where he's just gasping for air. Look at this shot. <laughs> yeah, he's just got to sum up, mm. you know, why, why you practice and kick a ball in here. I mean, it is doable. I wouldn't hit it hard, though. I'd keep accuracy. I hit it short. Hit it short. And if anything, that's the one thing I saw in a few matches here with Zelensky, both last night and today. That's the second kind of open kick I thought he would hit. He missed a two-ball kicking out earlier in this match. He missed one. Actually, missed two of them against Federer as well. He's got to draw this back out here. Yeah. You want, man, his draw stroke, it looks like he's a little worried about that tip. I think so, too. And if you're worried about that, right, or, you know, worried about the draw for one reason or another, just take ball in hand and shoot the one in the corner and slide over to the right versus drawing the cue ball back, which is probably what I would have done anyways, maybe. I don't know. I don't like to draw the ball with ball in hand very often. That's more of the smooth stroke we expect from Jason. He hit real straight here. No, he's he got some angle. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got some angle. The thing he has to decide is where, because he can't get straight unless he really pounds this, and therefore he's got to contend with the six and the nine. When oh, he came all the way across. He didn't want to have to contend with the six or nine. He wanted to be straight on this. Stretching it out again, Mark. Going to be mm. a four-game lead. That's got to go a little bit. He's going to be over the nine. Yeah, he wanted more out of that. Hmm. And he's got to get it back a little bit. Nice shot there. And as our good friend Danny DiLiberto used to say, he's on the hill to get on the hill. 11-7 <laughs> seven. Seven is our score. Well, from here, Zelensky's got to win uh, six to Shaw's one. In order to win the match. It's been quite a show. Both players have made some great run outs, but the consistency edge goes to Jason Shaw and a couple of the good fortunes. You know, just like, for instance, in that rack, he left Zelensky terrible twice and yeah. largely by accident. Yeah, the kick and stick was a hell of a shot to take on, but he got away with not scratching on it. And it was certainly a possibility. And I think the break shots, you know, overall has, has been better for Jason as well. And as evidenced by three break and run outs to Zelensky's one. Yeah, he's just won three in a row to extend that lead. That missed six ball to tie the match at eight apiece. That one hurt. And Jason banks it in, of course, cross corner. Oh, and it was an ugly bank. It was yeah. a comfortable bank to play. And even there, you can tell, much thinner, running the ball. Mm -hmm. Little fortunate to get through that bottom rail and all that traffic. And I don't know if he has a hole here for the two. It's pretty tight. <laughs> it's not the shot you want to play here, that's for sure. Now, I wonder if he'll just kind of pinch this behind the three and just see what happens with the two nine. Because if he cuts this and going, this he's not the favorite to make this combination. And if he shoots the combination to make it, he's surrendering the cue ball for sure. I think he is anyways. Wow, look what at this shot. shot. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah, he just went naked. <laughs> no defense whatsoever, oh just going all out to win the game there. Really pure. 
Well, that deserves a lot more shots uh, in this match for him. He deserves more chances after that nine ball he made. Man. Okay, here's our instant replay from Predator. Look how far apart they are. Off angle. Very still through the delivery. You can see his head there. Tremendous hit. Yeah, awesome. Hard to say shot of the match maybe because there's been so many, but it might be. It was a good one. I'll tell you that. It sure was, and it hit center cut. Never even touched the side rail with the nine. And that's some guts there, Mark. One ball's down, cue ball stopped. How good a connection was yeah. that? Yeah, this secure ball, you know, six ball run is more secure than that two nine combination in yeah. the last rack. That's how difficult that combo was. A similar shot he missed early in the match. It kind of got Zelensky going a little bit on the four ball. Doesn't have to do much here, really. Just get out off the rail. You want some angle on the six to come back for the seven anyways. He got perfect where he really doesn't have to hardly add side spin at all which is key in this shot because you want an angle when you're shooting a seven, but not too much. Uh, how good is this, Mark? <laughs> Boy, that's where you put ball in hand. Yeah, I was about and to that say that. A, that was a long travel to get there, too. Well, when you roll that ball around, your, your touch is pretty darn good, especially when you're a talented Jason Shaw. And this will be the fourth break and run out of the match. Shaw will move to the hill here. And maybe that break, that break rule, what you just said, explains a lot, Mark. That's only the fourth break and run, and it's been one incredible match in oh, the yeah. race in the 13. Yeah, yeah. You know, the yeah. drama is so much better. You see so much more pool. And 942, that TPA for Shaw, 885. It's dropped a little bit for Zelensky. He's still in it, though. Can't win them all back on one stroke, so but you can lose the set here, so don't be careless. Oh, great break. His best connection of yeah. the match, I think. Now they all end up grouping and kissing and staying on the right side of the table there, so or our right, his left. But no real shot at the two. Now nah, very tough. He's got to overcut the two to the right of the eight and run that cue ball with a little left English back at the five, a couple rails. He's good at this shot. He usually gets the line really nice and the speed mm -hmm. maybe, maybe even better. Yeah, he's coming up on the seven as well. Nice shot, youngster. Looks like he can hit past the side and be comfortable coming two rails, I think. 
This is one, don't get cute. You're up 12 to 8, mm-hmm. right? Don't mm-hmm. try to hit it too perfect if there's any question mark about that side pocket being yeah. in the way. Yeah. You want to get a one-rail hit at this ball if, if or a two-rail, but make sure you hit it. Oh, the underneath scratch. That hurts. I don't think we're going to see Zelensky play the combo. Maybe. A little bit of a touchy shot getting on the three, though. So maybe he will play the combo. Whew, yeah, it is pretty touchy getting on the three, isn't it? Anything you like, Mark? It, you know, if you play it in the corner, you might just draw into the seven for position. That might play about as easy as anything, and it frees up to six, seven for later on. He said, heck with that. We're going two, nine again. I bet you he doesn't hit this one as easy as he hit the last. And looking at it more and the camera view is awesome. You got to figure he's a big favorite. Nice shot. Yeah, okay. Yep. Another quick win. 12-9 now. Yeah, and I can't blame him there. I mean, that first shot was fairly tricky. Um, sure. He made the combo look pretty easy. Mark, where will we see you next? The Derby, maybe, or? Yeah, probably. Okay. I know you'll be there, but yeah. what you're saying is maybe we see you before then, huh? Yeah, you never know. I, th well, I, guess. I run into Tony Shohan a couple times on the road, so you never know. Uh, but, yeah, that will be the for sure I'll be there. I won't be at the Moscone. Well, it's been a real pleasure working with you all week. And John, oh, yeah. John Schmidt as well. Got Jay Helford in here. And I think you had Nick Vonner and maybe another Jerry friend. Jerry Bryce. Uh, yeah, Jerry Bryce. Yeah, Mark Kendall cool. got in once. Oh, think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Kendall. Rockstar. He's Florida tonight performing. Still at it, huh? Oh, yeah. They tour just about every weekend. A uh, little thicker hit, but. Something went down. One's going to bounce. Ooh, this has gotten to be a real touchy bank. Might not even be a bank. Yeah. All right. Let's, yeah, that's that's the best view for these to see. It's not really a much of a natural angle. You double bank this and kind of draw underneath the three up the right rail there with low right. Kind of try and put the one in the middle of the back rail. It's a pretty big ball, the three, to get behind. And you're slowly moving into that position, which is always comfortable. That's, looks like the the, the, yeah. you know, the natural play that isn't doesn't require a whole lot. And like I said, it's just low. Well, you need to emphasize one or the other here. We got to take well, care I of that. I think it lays good. See this? Yeah. You, but yeah. You go ahead and hit it now. You got to get the one to the back rail. Well, he did good. No, he uh, got the three. Oh, maybe not. Uh, okay, my bad. And I yeah, think I, th I think you're going to see Zelensky go for a bank here. What do you think? I like him shooting. Yeah, this if it's not offense, it's going to be an awfully hard defense. So yeah. <laughs> you might as well go down shooting. Yeah, and I'd like to I feel like he's going to make it, to be honest with you. I feel like the kid's that kind of player. pin drop in there, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I think everybody knows this is a yeah. pivotal moment. Swish. You called it. <laughs> wow, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah, Shaw missed his mark a little bit, and Zelensky came with it. This kid is a player, boy. He's here for the long haul, too. He has such an erratic setup to the ball every time he's moving his feet and the cue's moving instantly. But his last stroke, pure as could be. 
it's almost like he's settling in uh, the entire time until that last stroke. It, it reminds me when I watch him of Bugs Rucker. I don't oh, know yeah, if you ever yeah, watched yeah, him. Yeah, he yeah. was always so, uh, the stick would be wobbling left or right. And I'm thinking, what? Yeah. And then he'd make the most incredible shots. Yeah, but I didn't didn't get to watch Bugs like in person uh, yeah. much. I did watch a little bit, just him hit a few balls. You were there, I think, the 1992 Willards Tournament in St. Charles, Illinois biggest tournament ever maybe yeah 512 players but i did watch a bunch of videos uh, of bugs i was lucky i was around denny glenn i don't know if you know denny yeah, yeah. the q collector yeah okay. well yeah. you wouldn't believe how many videos of pool and stuff he has it's un unreal wow what an out what an out <laughs> three in a row I'll tell you, he's picking up more fans in this booth as well this week. This yeah. Is. Yeah. You got to appreciate when a guy makes a big mistake and, and can leave it behind and bury big shots. Okay, this has become a lot more, a lot different match after that bank shot. Because Zelensky breaks in the next two out of three games. Yeah. It would be so ironic if he found his break right here at the end and it ended up showing up and making a huge difference. Yeah, he really needs to do something offensive from this break. Even if he has to play uh, safe. If you can just get a ball down and get the command of the table here. Yeah, one of his best strikes on the break was his last. I got low with again, thin. That's been the killer for him the most, mostly. He's had a couple of thick ones that, Look ooh, at the, the nine two. ball. Nine ball's done. He's, he's playing the two nine uh, kiss shot. Oh. It's laying perfect, just getting the center of the table. Uh -huh. I think anyways, I wouldn't try to get close to it either. I would just roll my ball, one rail out. This looks really good, Mark. Like go right at the seven here? What are yeah, you saying? Yeah, just go just one go rail out to the head spot. Uh, That's all you need. Oh, you don't want to be behind saying. it. You want to be on the, the right I side of the saying. two ball Stay here. on the inside of the seven, not yeah, the Yeah, I wouldn't try to work my ball much at all. Oh, this is going to be the wrong side. I don't think it's too bad. Well, he's got to thin it now from, from the center of the table is where you want to be, not there. That's why I would have just taken the – remember earlier we talked about you don't have to be close to on kiss shots. It's all about natural. I think this ends up hitting the end rail, to be honest with you. Oh, what a shot. Wow. Oh. <laughs> he <got high. laughs> Boy, he deserved it. Well, we talked about Zelensky's break, and yeah. ultimately it was that last game that got him, but overall it was a lot of Jason Shaw, and I'll tell you, Zelensky can hold his head high. He'll be back in one of his major finals soon. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I want to thank AccuStat staff and all the players, but most of all, we want to thank you for sharing your time with us. This concludes our coverage of the International Open. That is our time for this time, and until next time, so long. This is Rahan alive from the Simonis Aramis Arena with the runner-up, Victor Jelensky. America and the rest of the world might not have known your name, but they're going to know it now. You never gave up, and you fought through that match. Take us through some of the hard parts. Well, I tried my best in the final. Uh, I was feeling quite good, but was struggling with the break all, all the match. And that cost me. And Jason also played so well, so well-deserved, Jason. Congrats. Uh, right now I'm disappointed a bit, but I think tomorrow uh, I will be happy about the result because I've been playing some good pool.
this week this week so I'm quite happy also all right anybody you want to say hello to back home because we love you here uh, what the, sorry I said anybody you want to say hello to back home because we love you here we don't want you to go oh yeah I got a lot of support a lot of messages so um, thank you to all the people who watch from the Poland it's right now in the middle of the night so thank you very much for all your support and see you soon in Poland all right let's give it up for the runner-up Victor Zelensky Oh, Victor, 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 I got something for you. It's just a piece of paper. Hey, hey. 18,000, not a bad payday. Okay. All right, now coming up, the man who needs no introduction, the eagle eye, Mr. Jason Shaw. All right, Jason, we've been here before. I think the last time we was here was the US Open, I think when Pat took it over, or was it international? Which one was it? Both. <laughs> My bad. All right, here we go. Moscone Cup MVP straight pool record holder, turning stone owner of the turning stone, and father. How do you feel about this particular victory? Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, you can see my celebration there. I was over the moon, you know. I've struggled the last 12 months. Um, it's just been rough, you know, and, you know, I could have quit at any time, just want to give up, but I kept fighting. Um, I knew that I was playing well, just wasn't really feeling it, you know, wasn't really getting, you know, the roles we call it. Um, wasn't really getting to shoot many matches either. My opponents were playing perfect on me. And, um, yeah, I just was struggling mentally. But I kept fighting, kept practicing. I believe in myself. And, yeah, I just, that's all I did, just keep battling. I knew it was going to come, you know. Um, it's not when, but if. Um, and yeah, I just uh, it was a good final. Victor played really well. You know, uh, uh, he's only young, young guy. He's got plenty more finals in him, and uh, I'm sure he'll win this event one day. All right, Jason. Just the the difference from that first international to now. What's the biggest difference? What's the change in your game? Um, just probably not stressing about money all the time. You know. Um, <laughs> just living good, and um, you know. I have my own business and me and my wife and um, yeah, are doing pretty good so I don't have to really rely on his pool to have an income all the time and uh, be sweating it as much. I can just be relaxed and um, play my game and I'm happy I played uh, really well this week. I, I won a lot of good matches, um, some close ones, um, but overall just uh, happy to be back in the winner's circle and um, yeah, just feels amazing to be back. All right, we love to have you back, and we got some paper for you, Mr. Pat Fleming, to present your check. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate it, man. Fake check and a real check, $30,000. $30,000, not bad payday, guys. <laughs> Mr. Jason Eagle Eye Shaw. Pat, come on up, buddy. Let's give it up for Pat Fleming, ladies and gentlemen. All right. America, Pat has once again did us proud. Thank you to all the contestants. Thank you to all the fans and everybody in attendance. AccuStats from the Simonis Aramis Arena, we're out. <laughs>